Welcome to City Talk. I'm here with the city manager, Dan Galloway. How are you doing, Dan? Just fine, Matt. Glad to be here. Good. We're going to talk about the economic development in Stillwater in 2009. So, so far, the city has been growing somewhat. What can you tell me about that? Well, we, we have continued to grow. It's, uh, you know, there's some question with uh, the economy the way it is, and some people expect that it's all closed down, but it's not. Uh, uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. We've had a number of building permits throughout the year, and, and we continue to have them. Uh, I think we, we're con continuing to see some growth of residential and uh, some very significant growth in our commercial area. So it's, uh, it's not a dead issue in Stillwater at all. We're continuing to uh, experience, I think, some healthy growth in our economy. And what role has the city played in that growth? Well, you know, we're, we're trying to uh, assist and develop uh, growth in, in all ways that we can and manage the growth. Um, throughout through some of our projects, we, we, again, we want to continue to have um, uh, business and econ uh, economic growth in the community. The city contracts with the Chamber of Commerce for their economic development activities to, to continue to try to seek new uh, businesses in our community, grow uh, the job market in our community as well. And I think they're doing an excellent job of that. Um, you know, obviously, uh, regionally and nationally, um, some business growth is slow right now. But, but we do see a, a continued interest in, in Stillwater, and we see some new businesses opening, and I think that's a real healthy sign. Uh, our downtown development, our business improvement district, uh, the members of that district are really working hard together, promoting the downtown. And we've seen uh, significant uh, new investments coming into downtown during 2009. Uh, people continue to be interested in it, and I think uh, uh, we certainly are fostering that and inviting that and working with those people. So um, uh, the city's trying to, to foster that growth where we can to be, simply by being a good partner and trying to uh, make the process of, of building in Stillwater and developing in Stillwater as customer friendly as we can. Our development department's trying to provide, uh, you know, total assistance and make it uh, as streamlined and, and, and painless as possible to go through permitting and those kind of processes. But uh, uh, we are getting a lot of increased interest in our community. You mentioned residential growth a little while ago. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, I think we're going through cycles of, of residential growth. I think it's, it's all, to some extent, um, uh, irrespective of the, the economic cycles. Uh, we've seen some rapid growth in our community population-wise, and as that happens, we see a, a significant number of new residential developments and subdivisions planted and developed and the lots designed and a lot of construction going on. I think w with the economy uh, as it is, the subdivisions that have already been planted, the, the lots that are, are still available are being developed and built upon. Uh, I think we're going to, some of the developers are waiting for some signs of uh, some, you know, changes in the overall economy to start developing new subdivisions, but we are fortunate to have enough subdivisions planted with a sufficient number of lots for continuing to build homes because we still have people wanting to move to Stillwater and they are uh, moving to Stillwater every day, and uh, I, I think there's going to be a continued market. That's partly because uh, of the university here, but there's many other opportunities in Stillwater as well. And uh, Stillwater has a tremendous reputation for quality of life, and uh, there's, a, there's a high demand to live in Stillwater. Okay. What areas around town do you see growing faster than others? Wow, that's kind of a tough question because right now I, I think we see it in several areas, and of course, um, over the last 20 years, it was a tremendous growth of residential to the southwest and to the west side of the city, and that growth is continuing. But uh, over the last three or four years, we've seen uh, development also develop to the north of our city, on the east side of our city. Uh, and, and so I think our, our city's kind of growing, at, busting at the seams in all, all sides to some extent. And again, it has slowed down a little bit because of the economy, but the growth is still continuing. Um, it's also, it's, it's reached a point where a lot of that development is being pushed beyond the city limits. And I, I think it was fortunate the city council and the staff uh, a year and a half ago or so developed one of the first comprehensive annexation plans for the community, not because we had this need to just acquire additional area, but there is that growth that's going beyond the city limits. And to incorporate those areas so we can work with those uh, developers to manage the growth to assure they have access to all the city uh, facilities and infrastructure and services. It's, it's, a, it's a plan to meet that growth with service extension. So I think we're fortunate to have that plan. Okay. What impact do you think having uh, a bid district downtown has had 
on the overall economic development of Stillwater? Well, I think it's, a, it's had an obvious, a tremendous uh, impact on downtown, but I think that impact is just, is just beginning. I think, uh, as I said, there continues to be uh, a real increase in the number of inquiries about uh, development opportunities and commercial opportunities downtown. I think that uh, the more that development occurs, the more demand there's going to be for it. But I think that, it, that it's starting to be a destination for people throughout the community, but more importantly, people from outside the community. Uh, it, it's with the special events. It's like the ice rink for the holidays, the, uh, uh, the special parades, special events. And when people come to downtown, they're finding it's, uh, it's a downtown that's different than what they've seen over the last several years. Uh, uh, there's uh, more dining opportunities, more uh, shopping opportunities, uh, new stores developing, uh, and um, I think they're finding it's a really uh, uh, a treat to come to downtown. They're being surprised, and so I think that's going to grow. But I think as it brings people to downtown, it brings people to the community as a whole. And um, I, th I think it's going to bleed out into the other areas as well. I think they, that if they come to Stillwater to come downtown, that's not the only place they go. I think they'll stop at the businesses if they're coming on the west side of the uh, uh, Stillwater, there are many opportunities to stop and shop there, and I think they will, and I think those on the north side, east side, will do the same thing. So um, the business district, uh, the bid is not just about downtown, it's about the community as a whole. It's to give us an identity and to, to attract people to our community as a whole, and I think it's doing that. Also, we've been able to do things like the, um, the park and ro ride program, which is a cooperative project with the uh, OSU Athletic Department on game days. and thousands, literally thousands of people visiting our community have come to downtown to ride the bus to ball games and, and there are thousands of people who would never have come to our downtown before. And most of their reaction is very positive. Uh, they're, they're going away and saying, I want to come back to your downtown. I didn't know it was there. So I think the bid and, and the projects and the coordination is going to, to help grow the entire community. Can Stillwater expect to continue the growth through 2010 and beyond? Oh, absolutely. I, I think I think all the potentials here, we have a, we have a tremendous uh, uh, potential for growth. I think the business uh, community, when I say that I mean in the broadest sense of, of regional and national, I think as they look for areas to grow, new high-tech market, new research markets, we have one of the highest education levels of a community uh, anywhere our size. We have the, uh, the access and, uh, of the OSU uh, support of research and I think that the, the components for business growth are really unique here. And you add to that the quality of life, I see no reason why this community is going to stop growing. I think it's going to, we're going to see a continual growth uh, for a long, long time. Okay, well, thanks for coming on City Talk this week. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here, and I always enjoy talking about the growth of this community. It's a, it's a great community, and I think uh, uh, the very quality of life and the, and the, the, uh, the attitude and the, the the ethic of our people is something that will continue to attract that growth. Thank you. Thank you. My guest has been Dan Galloway. He's the city manager for the city of Stillwater. For City Talk, I'm Matt Setzer.